So you want to learn how to add those cinematic black bars to your videos in Premiere Pro? In this video, I'll show you how to add those cinematic black bars to your videos in Premiere Pro CC so you can get that buttery cinematic look in your videos. And be sure to watch in the end so you don't miss out on any of these pro tips. Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Tyler White and here on this channel, I teach tutorials on how to step up your video editing skills. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and become a part of the team today. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that bell button so that you get notified every time we post a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right on in. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our footage and we're gonna drag it down to our timeline like so. Once we've done that, we're gonna select our clip, press Command L on our keyboard, and then we're gonna delete that audio track. So I provided a download link in the description that you guys are gonna need in order to get to the next part of this tutorial. Once you've downloaded that link, you're gonna to go to import. It's gonna bring you to your cinematic black bars folder. All I need you to do is just single click on that. Don't actually open it up and then click import. That's going to import all three items into your project. So once you've done that, you click on that and then you get the option of thick, thin and black and single black bars, which are the original black bars. All right, so for the sake of this tutorial, you can choose whichever one you like, but I'm just gonna grab the regular size black bars. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna drag that, you're gonna drag that over the top of your clip like so. And just make it as long as you want. You can stretch it, it'll go as far as you need it to. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the editing tab. And as you can see, our black bars are not where they're supposed to be. So in order to fix that, all we need to do is just select our black bars layer and then bring the scale up just a little bit. I think 151 is probably good. All right, and that's gonna do it for the first method, all right? So the next method is we're gonna go ahead and just delete that, and we're gonna go back to our assembly tab. The next thing that we're gonna do is go right down here to new item, and then we're gonna make an adjustment layer. All right, making sure that all our video settings are correct, we're gonna press okay, and then we're gonna drag this adjustment layer over the top of our clip. So what we wanna do is we wanna make our adjustment layer as long as our actual footage is gonna be the same type of concept. All right, so next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our editing tab. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to effects and we're gonna type in crop. Grab crop and we're gonna drag it over top of our adjustment layer. And the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna scroll down up here and then we wanna make the top 12% and make the bottom 12%. And as you can see, it's easy as that. So I prefer the crop method over the overlay method, and I'll show you for the, the exact reason why. So we'll go ahead and drag this back down to zero. Make sure that our clip is at the very beginning. We're gonna select top and bottom. We're gonna make, create those key frames. We'll go to about, let's say about a second in our timeline. That's good right there. And then we're going to change this back to 12. All right, and then we'll start it from the beginning. And as you can see, it animates how those black bars come into effect. So that's just my personal preference. You, If it's easier for you to just grab the overlay, by all means. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Which method do you prefer? The overlay or the crop method? And do you have any other tips on this topic? Let us know in the comments below. Some of the best tips and conversation is happening in the comments section. So definitely engage down there and be a part of this community. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, make sure to slap a like on it because that lets me know that these videos are helpful. And make sure you subscribe because we've got more videos like this coming soon. Also, let me know in the comments what future videos you want to see. Don't forget to grab the overlay in the description. Thank you so much again, guys. Keep killing it in your videos, and I'll see you soon. I didn't know that I've been the fool. I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is big